This is my 96 Chevy 1500. Uh, a car pulled out in front of me. Tur pulled out left in front of me. So I ended up hitting the side of their vehicle right in the back tire. Popped off his tire and smashed the front of my truck here, as you can see. Let's look under the hood. Yeah. You can see the battery over here actually got busted. It's no, no good anymore. It actually knocked these battery power cables just right off. Battery acid dripped down and rusted all this. Rusted that all up. You can see the front of the battery. This cable is now sideways. <laughs> and even this coolant box, the little thing broke off and bent. So it really took a lot of damage. Can't tell how the frame is. You see even the rim here. Tire's still on it, but the rim's busted. I had a new grill too, and I just replaced the air conditioner co coil in there about a week before this happened. Um, engine's still good. Doesn't look like the engine took any kind of damage. Fan still spins freely. It's not, not like it got smashed in there or anything. So I think at the very least I'll be able to salvage the engine and transmission. Um, you can see this side looks fairly undamaged except for it twisted that out quite a bit. And in the back here, I had a microwave back here and it slammed into my toolbox. So now my toolbox is all dented up and not quite how it's supposed to be. You can see there. But before this, it was a really nice truck. No real problems. Had just replaced the fuel pump about two months ago. Um, it had 100 178,000 miles on it. And I think it probably would have gone another 100,000 because it had no problems at all. I had my little custom modded radio here where if I flip this switch it would turn it to my auxiliary input and just replaced the carpet got a seat it's not a perfect seat but it was the best seat I could find replaced that when I got it and did all that work replaced the steering wheel that one, the old one was tore up, put a, put a new one in it. I'm hoping I get enough money out of the other guy's insurance that I can replace it or at least find a cheap one to fix up using parts from this one. If anyone out there on the internet knows, uh, give me your opinion on what you think I should be getting from the insurance company on this because they're kind of taking their time, and I don't want to accept an offer if it's too low. But that's what your truck looks like if you run into a car on highway speeds. So I actually bent out the hood so that it would close and keep the engine dry. But hopefully the insurance adjuster comes soon.